Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. So uh, today I will be uh, discussing about the advanced functions, which is in the continuation of the my uh, previous uh, video on uh, functions. Okay. So basically, what is a advanced function? Okay. So advanced function is a function. Actually, it is also a function. Okay. So advanced function is a function with some inbuilt uh, capabilities okay the capabilities which you uh, see with the cmd lets okay the inbuilt um, cmd lets in the powershell it has many different capabilities for example let me show you what i mean let us uh, use uh, this um, get service cmd let and uh, let, let let me show you if you uh, put this uh, dash sign, uh, sign, you will see that it has many inbuilt uh, 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 parameters here. Okay. So, uh, uh, which you can use for many different purposes. Okay. It depends, means whenever uh, you design any application or uh, whenever you design a script, uh, these are very helpful. And it has got many capabilities uh, which um, I leave you to explore. Here I am discussing that how you can make a function, make your function a simple function uh, into an advanced function. Okay. So uh, the function, uh, let's see. Let me, uh, okay. So I hope uh, you understand what I, I'm going to do now in the in the video. How you will get these capabilities? The function which you're saying uh, is a, is a simple function. But so this is just a simple function, okay? And if you want to understand that how to create a simple function, then you can go to my previous video on uh, on a, a creating a simple function, okay? Uh, the link uh, for which uh, I will mention, or you can see that this link will appear here, and you can click on that link, and then you can go to that video, and I will recommend you to first uh, go to that video, and then you can come here. Uh, so it will help you, um, so you will be able to understand uh, uh, the concept more um, more easily, okay? So <clears throat> this is a, just a simple function. So what I mean uh, means why I am doing this. First, let us uh, um, let us run this function. Okay. So how to run this function? Just uh, you have to uh, give the name of the function. Okay. For example, this is the uh, name of the function. I can see that it will uh, display. Means in the function, just uh, what I am doing is that I have. Uh, I want to display uh, this sentence. This is a function in PowerShell. So it is doing that thing. Okay. But here you can see that it does not have any capabilities. Right. Uh, uh, the thing which I discussed in my um, just discuss uh, in the get service CMD let when I was um, uh, when I was using this uh, dash sign and it uh, there were a number of uh, parameters were popping out. So uh, sorry, not popping out, but number of parameters. Uh, there was a drop down many of the parameters which you can use with the um, uh, with the CMD lets. So here it is. It is not doing that thing. This was uh, so that is why. Uh, uh, so you can see that it is not displaying uh, any of the um, parameters uh, which we generally see with the simple CMD lets. Okay, and also. Let us see one more thing. Um, uh, you will appreciate uh, that why I am doing so just in a few moments. Uh, first example, let us uh, use this simulate get help and uh, let us see what it is giving to us. Okay, so you can see that um, we have this function name uh, in the help of this uh, test function since we have not. Uh, Written anything, so it will just display the simple uh, things. It is the only function syntax, aliases, and uh, remarks. Now, what what happens? What are the changes? Uh, what what changes will happen when you will make a function? Uh, means when you create a advanced function, or you will make a advanced function out of the simple function. So how we have to do that? So let's see. Let's start. And uh, so to create a function or to, to make an advanced function out of a simple function, all we have to do is, we have to just write this cmdlet binding 
there are a number of parameters here also and i will discuss those but for now i will no, i'm not going to discuss those things param this okay now uh, uh, this function is now a advanced function just by writing this cmd let binding this function becomes a advanced functions uh, advanced function right so let's see uh, what what is happening now okay so now let us see what uh, the help of uh, this uh, advanced function now what you will see here now you can see that syntax just see the syntax uh, this uh, syntax field here this uh, this is the uh, simple function and in the syntax there is nothing uh, there is uh, uh, nothing is mentioned in this syntax uh, syntax uh, of this uh, simple function but here if you will see uh, that uh, this has now uh, become an advanced function and now the syntax here is you can say um, that uh, common parameters uh, field has appeared here in the uh, help of the advanced function okay now let us check whether we are getting that um, parameters or the inbuilt capabilities uh, for this function or not so let us see what happened now you can see that uh, we are getting the uh, these uh, capabilities which you uh, see in the cmd lets basically cmd lets are also the advanced functions only so now you can use all of these uh, uh, inbuilt uh, capabilities uh, for this uh, newly created uh, test function so just by writing you can see that how it is easy uh, it is to convert a, a simple function into um, uh, into into advanced function um, just by writing this uh, cmd lit binding okay suppose um, now first let us uh, discuss a simple uh, parameter these are two parameters okay dollar a dollar b this is a function okay let me uh, erase this dollar a dollar b so let's let's uh, see what happens here now let me run this and uh, now you can see dollar a let dollar a b this is first this is second now let's see what it gives so you can see that uh, these are the parameters and what uh, whatever values i have given here it is displaying that this is first this is second right now uh, uh, what uh, for is now uh, you have seen that there are some mandatory parameters as well okay so if you want to uh, make a parameter uh, a mandatory parameter then what you have to do if you, so for example suppose if you want to uh, make the parameter a mandatory so that without running this the function doesn't run so what will happen how you can do that you can simply do that by writing sorry uh, parameter sorry <coughs> is equal to dollar true okay so now the, this uh, parameter this uh, this thing will tell uh, the function that dollar a or the a uh, is a mandatory parameter now so let's see what happens when we run the parameter uh, when we run this function for example You can see that it is asking for the uh, variable a. Uh, sorry, parameter a. It enters some value. So this is then temporary uh, parameter. You can see to display that this is mandatory parameter. And since second parameter is not mandatory, so it is not creating any problem. So. Uh, 
this was the uh, uh, this was a small video on the uh, on creating a function or sorry, on creating us uh, advanced functions okay out of a simple function so just by writing uh, i think you will appreciate that just by writing simulate binding uh, any function can be uh, converted into um, um, an advanced function so it is very easy okay so i hope uh, you would have find uh, uh, it very easy and you would have enjoyed the video and if you really like my video then please uh, share and subscribe to my channel and uh, if you want something else um, on the same topic then please uh, mention that thing in the comment box i'll get back to you okay and uh, till my next video goodbye and take care